<laughs> no, I play video games for a living. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> it is. No, it's tough though, because I'm a gamer, and I was like, you know, I gotta tell my parents, right? And I'm, I go to my mom, and I'm like, mom, there's something I really gotta tell you. I want to be a gamer. <laughs> my mom's like, great, Curtis. What's a mer? I didn't get it now, it's a little slow, but whatever. And I'm like, that's one word, Mom, it's a gamer. It's not it's a gamer. Uh, I was tough, and then, you know, I had to go tell my dad. I'm like, Dad, there's something I really got to tell you. I want to be a gamer. My dad's like, you're too old to be a gamer. You're 30 years old. You can't be a gamer. And I'm telling you right now, that's bullshit. I'm 37. <laughs> Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Curse Pike. My friends call me Banksy. I'm back again guys and today I'm bringing you some game talk. Today we're doing game news. Now guys, I know there's a lot of game news on the internet, but I'm trying to launch a new show that focuses not just on game news, but game news for gamers. And gamers is one word, mom. <laughs> Did you like that clip? Yeah, I'm a stand-up comedian. I'm improving. <laughs> no, guys, this is a new show for gamers, and this is particularly for gamers and people that play video games, you capture footage, you upload it to YouTube or live stream it, and you make money or want to make money off it. That's right, guys. For you freedom partners or people that are looking to join freedom or anybody that just does this, this new show is for you. So support me. Tell me you like the idea in the comments below because I need the validation and encouragement. All right? Stop, Mom. All right, guys. Let's skip this. Let's get right into the first the first news item for the day is... <laughs> All right, guys. Item number one. PlayStation 4 firmware version 2.0 launches today. That's right, guys. I'm downloading it right now, but while it's downloading, I can talk about it. There are a ton of features in it. If you're a PlayStation owner, there's a ton there, but the big one, especially for us gamer types, is SharePlay. Whoa, hell yeah. SharePlay allows you to play other people's games if they're on your friends list. Somebody can start or host, an, uh, host a, a chat or host a game, and you can log in and play their game, even if you don't own that game you can still go in. You don't get the trophies necessarily, but that's okay because you can just go to like a trophy store and buy trophies. It's simple. You don't have to do any of the hard work. But joking aside, guys, SharePlay is out and it is apparently pretty wild. I have not tried it yet, but if you have tried it and you've got a comment on it, please comment below. This is apparently the next big thing. All right, guys. So anyways, there are some restrictions, of course. 60 minutes is the maximum amount of time you can play until you have to start a new session. You can only go up to 720p, it doesn't do 1080 at this time, and there's a frame rate cap, it looks to be around 30 frames per second, and also guys, it is kind of dictated by the speeds of your internet and the host computer's internet. So if you got broadband and your partner's got broadband, it should be fine. But anyways guys, that is launched today and it's a big deal. Please comment below if you've tried it out, I want to know how it is. Okay, let's get on to the next item, shall we? <laughs> The next item is Xbox One, guys. PlayStation 4, Xbox One. Just so you guys know, I am console agnostic. I'm not a fanboy. I don't care if you play PlayStation, Xbox, whatever. I play PC. I got a PlayStation 4. Probably going to pick up an Xbox One in the coming weeks. And I'll probably get a Wii U for my holidays over Christmas. All right, guys, I'm going to roll hard. But anyways, Microsoft has also come out firing and shots have been fired. Big shots, guys. Microsoft has reduced the price of their console, their Xbox One, by $50. <laughs> yeah, guys, it is tree fitty, apparently. In most places, it's tree fitty. And it used to be 500 bucks when it came out, 350. Why is that important? Because it's cheaper than the PlayStation 4 now, currently, guys. You can get an Xbox One, $50 cheaper than a PlayStation 4. Now, there's a lot of things you can read into this, but as you guys know, PlayStation 4 has been leading the charge in terms of um, sales and sales numbers and stuff like that and then a lot of people think that the PlayStation 4 is a little bit better It's a little bit stronger But whatever I don't go in for any of that stuff. I don't care But for what it's worth guys $50 350 is that worth picking up an Xbox one? That's my first question to you question two Do you think they're gonna be able to win this holiday season if they're 350 and the PlayStation's 400 on a shelf and you don't own either? 
Are you going to get the Xbox over the PlayStation? I don't know. I've got a PlayStation 4, so I might pick up an Xbox One. Not sure. But anyways, that's my second question. And my third and final question is, if you don't own, if you own a PlayStation 4, pardon me, is this enough to make you want to get an Xbox One? Xbox One has released a lot of big titles. A lot of them are duplicates that you can find them on the PS4 and the Xbox One. But a big game like that Sunset Overdrive just came out. IGN gave it a 9. You know, there's some there's some kind of exclusives that are coming out that might make a guy that owns or a gal that owns one console get the other one. Please leave your comments below, but TLDR, $50 cheaper for Xbox One. Okay, third topic, go! Alright guys, the next topic is Star Wars. That's right, I like Star Wars, guys. But Star Wars Battlefront has been confirmed and they are going for a holiday 2015 launch date. Not a lot is known about this game right now. It's being worked on by EA, particular di particularly DICE Studios. But like I said, guys, holiday 2015, and for those of you that like Star Wars, you probably know that holiday 2015, in fact, December 18th, 2015, is when the new J.J. Abrams Star Wars is launching, guys. So there's some big stuff coming for the end of the year. Is this something that excites you? You going to buy that stuff? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. All right, next item. All right, guys, the last thing I'm going to talk about is there's a new release today. That's right, guys. Lords of the Fallen has come out, and the reviews are coming in pretty good. It looks like it's averaging about 75 out of 100 uh, in terms of the different scores. I've got some scores behind me. IGN gave it like, what they give it? 7.4. Someone else gave it an 8 and then a 7.5 and a 3 out of 5 and whatever guys. But anyways guys, this is a hack and slash RPG that came out today. It's got some Dark Soul elements and for those of you that are on the ball and like to play games the day they come out, this is available now, and you should probably download it. And if you've downloaded and tried it, let me know if it's any good, because I haven't bought it yet, but I'm giving it some thought. So anyways, guys, those are the big topics for today. Please let me know if you like this kind of show. I'm going to be adding some more stuff in in the future. I'm going to add in some more visuals. I'm going to add in some transition, probably get a special set bait. But every day, I want to bring you guys some gaming news and stuff that's important to you guys that make money off games. All right, guys, this is your boy, Big C. I'm checking out. Got this.